You've tuned in to the Top 10 Gardener with garden expert, Ken Lane. Join him daily as he answers timely garden questions that are sure to make a difference in your gardens. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. And we are back with Lisa Waters Lane in the studio. She comes each week and just shares her garden perspective, what she's seeing, what what flowers are tickling her fancy. <laughs> is, that even, is that even garden saying? I don't know. Can flowers tickle your fancy? Sure, why not? Sure. I, it seems fanciful to me. I agree. <laughs> All right. Lisa, welcome in the studio. Thank you. So what Good do you got for us? What are you sharing? What insights can you give the, the listeners as they tune in or watch? Mm. So it's 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 here. It's happening. Trucks have arrived. Oh, yeah. The plants are coming. They're in, they're <laughs> so in rotation. Man. They're coming like crazy. The last few weeks, we're like, trucks are coming. They're coming. Yeah. And now it's like, they're here. Yeah. So we finally gotten some trucks of new spring stuff in, uh, which is always fun and exciting. Um, and then one of the plants, I brought some nice samples for those that are watching. Um, get to see some samples of some Linton roses or hellebores, yeah. uh, which are actually a great perennial for here. Um, it's a nice little, um, gets maybe one to two foot tall maximum. I mean, below, below knee high. Yeah. yeah. Um, they do like a little bit of a shadier spot, especially in the, the heat of the summer. But they're actually an evergreen perennial, which is very unusual for around here. But the, I brought some in. Uh, they're You're probably... showing them off. This is the benefit. So just so you folks that are tuned in, so this is broadcast over terrestrial airwaves, traditional terrestrial. radio uh, airwaves. And then it's also streamed by you know, podcast forms. We break up mm -hmm. each segment. So Apple and Spotify folks, you get to watch the video piece of this. Oh, while you're looking at that, could you do us a favor? Do us a, do us a, just like, follow, do all that kind of stuff. Cause we're the little player. We're going up against some big boys, yeah. but our, our uh, ratings go up. You know, uh, Google ranks us higher. If you actually like, like what you're watching. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> would you just, would you please just like <laughs> us? <laughs> Tell you what. Anyway, you're showing off the, the Linton Rose so, or Hellebore. Yeah. So we've got, I think four, maybe five different varieties in. This is their ice series. Yeah, pretty beautiful. And you can see it's oh a very gosh. variegated kind of a cream and um, burgundy color. Absolutely gorgeous. And loaded with more buds to yeah. come. So this thing's in bloom oh, and yeah. going to bloom more. Right. It's not done by any stretch of Oops, the imagination. Try not to cover up your face on the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's, Sorry. It's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> But just a beautiful little early blooming plant for you, especially those people that just are like, I need some color. Um, this is perfect for that. It gives you yeah, that early thing color. That, that folks don't maybe uh, new to the area. So if you're new to gardening, so this is a winter crop. We mm -hmm. don't have these in the spring and summer season. Right. They come late winter, very early spring because they bloom very early. Mm -hmm. And if snow gets on this, it doesn't care. It blooms longer. Mm -hmm. It loves the cold. We had a winter blooming jasmine and bloom in our house. Yeah. We're, we're dusting the snow off this last week and underneath it's in, it's in bloom. It's loving. Right. Yeah. Winter bloomers love this kind of weather that we have. So this gets down to negative 20. Yeah. Which if ever gets down to negative 20, I'm moving. Never seen that. Yeah. As soon as we do <laughs> so that. So yes, it can, it too. can take the cold and keep on going. So that's a real pretty color. This one is a really nice dark Merlot color. It hardly shows up. It's so dark on there, but you can kind of see the I would center. call that black. It's beautiful. They wow. Call, they call it Merlot. Okay. But isn't that pretty? Just I see the two together. The yellow or... stamens coming out of the flower. Right. This is so beautiful in the contrast. And you can plant these together in the same mm -hmm. container. I'll say a container or raised bed to sure. the front edge because they're going to get, I don't know, foot and a half tall and just get nice full evergreen foliage. Right. Oops. We have a ivory one that would be <gasps> super attractive Whoa. to put those two together you mean in a black pot. And or white. I'm talking to men now. Black <laughs> flowers and white flowers together. Because that's a black flower. Come on. It's Merlot. Okay. It's a nice Merlot. Mm -hmm. And then just one more, just because they're so pretty. You got to show them off. Definitely a nice color right now. Yeah, this has got. Let me just describe it so it's not uh, boring for you folks driving down the highway just listening to us. <laughs> this has got like seven, eight blooms in full bloom right now. It's got a green foliage that's like leathery leaf, which mm -hmm. makes it very robust in the dry climate. So uh, need some shade, but it loves the dryness that we have. And it will bloom like this. It's got, uh, I don't know, baseball size flowers. A dozen of them are going to come up. 
blooms like this for an extremely long time. Mm -hmm. And it then when it's done, you pinch the flowers off and then it just has this beautiful foliage. Foliage be mm -hmm. great with a uh, heaths and heathers, oh, yeah. uh, lily of the valley. There's mm -hmm. a lot of these kind of companion perennials. This is perennial country, like sure. I've never seen. So perennials grow better here than other parts of the country because we don't get disease. Right. And the beauty with this, animals don't eat them, so they don't uh, deer, rabbits. You folks out in the valley areas, the antelopes are becoming a problem. They're not going to bother Linton rose or hellebores. Mm -hmm. Same thing, same critter. Hellebore and Linton rose are the same plant. Some people get confused, so I just thought I would. Hellebore is botanical, up. and the common name is Linton rose. Right. And sometimes we call it Linton rose hellebore, just to <laughs> include it all in there. So it's just this. I would say that's, I would say February's companion plants, one of the key right. plants of February. Mm -hmm. And you'll see them now through, as soon as this crop's done, maybe middle of March. You won't see them Even again if until that next long. year. Yeah. So I Here would below. say if it's something you're interested in, it's definitely one you want to check out. Don't come to me in May and go, where's yeah. all the work? Where <laughs> We're hope I personally <laughs> hope they're all gone by this weekend. So. <laughs> so definitely. Also, we did get in. They're not blooming. And they're just kind of in the pot right now. But if you want to get them planted, some peonies. We got oh, yeah. some uh, Sarah Bernhardt's. We got the red and the pink. And those are just the start. We'll definitely get more in. Oh, yeah. But great time to plant. Absolutely great time to plant because they are fairly, they're starting to wake up. Their little eyes are, are there, but they're still very dormant. So get them planted. You get to enjoy the blooms this yeah. year. You get to enjoy the foliage. So it's a great time. To That's do that. one of those. If you're new to the area, new to gardening and garden centers, these are very limited crops. We have to guesstimate that like those Linton roses, those are three years old. We had to guess three years ago how many we would actually sell and then bring them in. Peonies, we're guess those are like five-year crops. Mm -hmm. So you get the Ito peonies. Those are five years old at the farm before we bring them in. And we're guessing five years ago <laughs> how many you all would buy out in the public. So when you grab, when you see them, peonies especially, they, they don't look like much. So, But they're going to have this fragrant bloom that just like your grandmother had. They're going to have that. Mm -hmm. If you wait until they're in bloom, there won't be any left because every cart has, as soon as, they, as soon as they crack color, every cart's got one on it. So you want to catch them early so you get prime time, mm -hmm. the best color selections, and rather than waiting till end of April when they bloom. Right. Yeah. So right yeah. now we got the Sarah Burkhart red and pink, and then we got the Shirley Temple, which I think is real pretty. It's kind of a white with a blush touch okay. to it. It's very, very pretty out yeah. there. We also got in some lilac. So it's the Yay, start of lilac finally. season. So we definitely got some of those guys coming in. We have the angel, which is, I love a white lilac. It's I fragrant. know it's not the traditional. It's we have a white one at our house and I just love it. So we have the angel, which is the white. Uh, we have sensation, which is another real pretty one. It has yeah. that variegated uh, purple with white around the edge of the bloom. Yeah. Very, very pretty. Quite striking. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. if you're going to cut it off and bring it in a, in a vase oh, or something. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Definitely. Uh, blue skies, which is a very light lilac color. It's not dark purple, but it's very, very pretty. Like a sky. Ooh, like, like a blue a sky? Blue sky. Yeah. <laughs> this shows up better from across the landscape. So right. if you're looking across to your, your landscape. The lighter color. I like that up. lighter color shows up better than dark purple, some of that. Mm -hmm. So from a design standpoint, that's how you use those. Mm -hmm. uh, we also got Pocahontas and. That's a traditional. Yeah. What are two other ones? Yeah. But and there again, what a great time to get them in because you get to enjoy the blooms on them. Your neighbors get to enjoy your blooms on them, and you're not looking at somebody else's going, Oh, I need I a lilac, yeah. I should go plant one. Uh, we also got a couple of different magnolias. In, oh, that's neat. Um, the Elizabeth, what they think is yellow, and I forget the other one, but I'm pretty sure it's pink. Rosemary, oh, gotcha. So, we got those two lists. So, those are ones that bloom in the spring, um, they bloom before they put their leaves on. So, the gorgeous when they're blooming and then when they're done blooming they put their leaves on and you enjoy them for the rest so of the season. So there's two types of, of magnolias. You southern folks you think there's only a southern magnolia. It's got to be an evergreen <laughs> with a white saucer shaped flower. It's actually the prettier ones. The hardier ones are deciduous. That is they lose their leaves in the winter and they get the bright flowers much 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 more fragrant than the traditional southern magnolias. Mm -hmm. So you've got both and, and again those are more animal resistive than some of your others. If you're in that wildland interface, you've got deer going through there. I don't know about elk, but 
deer that keep on javelina is not going to bother them right. personal experience so with that we're out of time i know you got a whole list of plants that it's are okay. here but they'll have to come in have and just come in yeah when the snow clears just come and visit and get your garden fix ken and lisa lane the mountain gardeners be right back Waters Garden Companions of February are Peony, Calgary Carpet Juniper, Pinion Pines, and Lily of the Valley. Lily of the Valley is a gorgeous shrub that loves growing in the summer shade. This bold evergreen delights with dramatic, fiery growth in spring. Fragrant wedding cake layers of white flowers hover on graceful, arching stems. Each dainty flower is utterly detestable to deer and javelina. Shop the most perennial shrubs in Prescott by store or online at watersgardencenter.com. You're listening to garden expert Ken Lane, owner of Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Look for more tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts through Ken's website. Additional shows of this podcast, read his weekly garden column, or follow him on Facebook, Instagram, at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. <laughs> 